the difficulty in finding coronavirus tests has been infuriated many. Thousands of people have been told their nearest testing slot is hundreds of miles away, or found that they can't access a test at all. The problems have come as the UK's R rate climbed to 1.4, with the number of cases doubling every seven days. The government has come under increasing pressure over the coronavirus testing shambles, with people being turned away from centres across the country and having to self-isolate for days, not knowing if they're COVID-19 positive or not. Earlier this week, Mirror Online revealed that it was not possible to book tests in 15 of the 20 areas with the highest infection rates in England. A rationing plan for coronavirus tests is due to be announced within days after ministers admitted it will still be weeks before a backlog is solved. Here's the latest information on who should and should get a coronavirus test. Who should get a coronavirus test? The government says people should only get a free test if they display symptoms. The three main COVID-19 symptoms are a high temperature, a new continuous cough, a loss or change to your sense of smell or taste. People can also get a test if they live in England have been told to be tested before going into hospital, are asked by their local council to get a test take part in a government pilot project essential workers can be referred for tests by their employers if they are self-isolated because they or someone in their household has symptoms. The government's list of essential workers is made up of or NHS and social care staff, including doctors, nurses, midwives, paramedics, social workers, care workers, and other frontline health and social care staff, including community pharmacists and their staff, volunteers and unpaid C-A-R-E-R-S left parenthesis support and specialist staff required to maintain the UK's health and social care S-E-C-T-O-R left parenthesis those working as part of the health and social care supply chain, including producers and distributors of medicines and medical and personal protective e q u i p m e n t left parenthesis nhs blood and transplant frontline staff blood donation staff specialist nurses for organ donation staff running therapeutic affairs services in nhs hospitals right parenthesis left parenthesis those providing ancillary support to nhs workers such as hotel accommodation for nhs staff personal care a s s i s t a n t s left parenthesis essential public services staff including colon left parenthesis prisons probation courts and tribunals staff j u d i c i a r y left parenthesis religious s t a f f left parenthesis charities and workers delivering critical frontline s e r v i c e s left parenthesis those responsible for the management of the d e c e a s e d left parenthesis journalists and broadcasters covering coronavirus or providing public service Broadcasting public health and environmental staff, such as specialist community public health, M U R S I N G, left parenthesis, public safety and national security staff, including colon, left parenthesis, police and support, S T A F F, left parenthesis, Ministry of Defence civilians, contractors and armed forces personnel. Those critical to the delivery of critical defense and national security outputs and critical to the response to the coronavirus pandemic, including defense medical STAFF left parenthesis fire and rescue service employees, including support staff, national crime agency staff, those maintaining border security, prison and probation staff and other national security roles, including those O-V-E-R-S-E-A-S left parenthesis British Transport Police and the Maritime and Coast Guard A-G-E-N-C-Y left parenthesis transport workers, including colon left parenthesis those who keep the air 
water, road and rail passenger and freight transport modes operating during the coronavirus R-E-S-P-O-N-S-E -S -E, left parenthesis those working on transport systems through which supply chains P-A-S-S -S, left parenthesis education and child care workers including colon left parenthesis support and teaching S-T-A-F-F -F, left parenthesis social W-O-R-K-E-R-S left parenthesis specialist education P R O F E S S I O N A L S left parenthesis critical personnel in the production and distribution of food drink and essential goods including colon left parenthesis those involved in food production processing distribution sale and D E L I V E R Y left parenthesis those critical to the provision of other essential goods such as medical supply chain and distribution workers and testing such as feed labs and veterinary M E D I C I N E left parenthesis workers critical to the continuity of essential movement of G O O D S left parenthesis local and national government staff critical to the effective delivery of the coronavirus response or delivering essential public services such as the payment of BENEFITS left parenthesis public and environmental health staff including in government agencies and arms length BODIES left parenthesis funeral industry WORKERS left parenthesis frontline local authority staff and volunteers including those working with vulnerable children and adults, victims of domestic abuse, and the homeless and rough sleepers, and hotel staff supporting these groups. Right parenthesis, left parenthesis, voluntary sector organizations providing substance misuse. T R E A T M E N T. Left parenthesis, utilities, communication and financial services staff, including colon. Left parenthesis, staff needed for essential financial services provision, including but not limited to workers and banks, building societies and financial market infrastructure, right parenthesis, left parenthesis, the oil, gas, electricity and water sectors, including sewerage, right parenthesis, left parenthesis, information technology and data infrastructure sector and primary industry supplies to continue during the coronavirus R-E-S-P-O-N-S-E -S -S -E, left parenthesis essential staff working in the civil nuclear chemicals telecommunications including but not limited to network operations field engineering core center staff IT and data infrastructure 999 and 111 essential services postal services and delivery payments providers and waste disposal S E C T O R S left parenthesis the NHS also says people can get a test for someone they live with if they display these symptoms who shouldn't get a test earlier in September Secretary Matt Hancock blamed the British public for getting too many coronavirus tests, saying too many asymptomatic people were being tested. In the last couple of weeks we've seen an increase in demand, including an increase in demand from people who are not eligible for tests, people who don't have symptoms, he said on September the 9th. We've seen an increase of about 25% of people who are coming forward that don't have symptoms and are rent eligible. The NHS website states, only get a test if you have coronavirus symptoms or have been asked to get tested. Do not use this service to get a test in order to travel to another country. You can pay for a private test. This will all help make sure people who need a test can get one. When to book a coronavirus test anyone with symptoms is urged to get a test as soon as possible, though that's not been easy for many in recent days. Ideally, those displaying symptoms should get a test within five days of showing, either by booking to visit a test site or ordering a home kit. On days 1 to 4 of your symptoms, you can get tested at a site or at home.
If you are ordering a home test kit on day 4, do it by 3 p.m., say the NHS. On day 5, you need to go to a test site. It's too late to order a home test kit. Close quote. The NHS instructs anyone with symptoms who takes a test to stay at home, to stay at home until the result comes through. The same goes for people they live with and in their support bubble. Anyone who can't get tested within five days must self-isolate, along with anyone they live with or in their support bubble. Coronavirus test A COVID-19 test uses a long cotton but to take a swab from the inside of someone's nose and the back of their throat. Anyone aged 12 or over can do it themselves or have someone do it for them, but children aged 11 or under must have their swab taken by a parent or guardian. People can order tests for up to three people they live with if they have symptoms If they're aged 13 or over, they must give their permission to be tested 